It's been 35 years since an Italian pope has ruled the Catholic Church, and some Vatican watchers believe the conclave that starts Tuesday could be the first to elect a pontiff from outside Europe. While the Italians controlled a quarter of the votes, Recent scandals suggest that they might be to be set by deep divisions to unite early around one candidate from their home turf. The Church's influence in Europe is on the wane, and its biggest area of growth is in sub-Saharan Africa, leading some to suggest that it might be time to look beyond the traditional countries for a pope with global appeal. The Catholic Church has moved far beyond the notion that any one nationality has a peculiar aptitude for the office of Peter, said NBC News Vatican analyst George Weigel author of Evangelical Catholicism. The secondary reason why this is a wide open field from which a non-European candidate may emerge is that the Catholic Church is in serious difficulty throughout Western Europe and in parts of Central and Eastern Europe. Even stalwart Poland is beginning to show some troubling signs of the influence of secularism. The number of non-Europeans keep showing up on Vaticanologists' lists of papabili, those cardinals thought to have the right stuff, Mark Ahulik of Canada. Luis Antonio Tagle of the Philippines, Odolo Pedro Scurr of Brazil, Robert Serra of Guinea, the Ref. Thomas Reese, an analyst for the National Catholic Reporter, said that when insiders talk about crossing the European borders, the conversation often ends up in Africa, where the church is growing, where it's dynamic and where it's a success in vocations. The church looks good in Africa, he said. The counter-argument is, the church in Africa is doing fine. We need someone to deal with the church in Europe, North America and Latin America, where it's in trouble. Greece said he's not sure that geography is the answer to the Vatican's problems, but at the same time he sees the appeal of a pope from afar. It would certainly send a message that this is a global church, this is not a European church anymore, he said. With just three days to go before the conclave, there is no indication that the cardinals are rallying around any one candidate, including the Italians. Weigel said many of the top non-European candidates have impressive Roman credentials. Cardinal Mark Ahulet, the former Archbishop of Quebec City, he heads the Congregation for Bishops, has worked in Vatican departments and has taught at the Latran University. He also has Latin American experience, having taught there, and has confronted an aggressively secular environment in Quebec. But some will question whether the scholarly pastor can reform the curia, the administrative apparatus of the Vatican. Cardinal Odolo Pedro Spur, the Archbishop of Sao Paulo, Brazil, worked for the Conclave's senior cardinal, Giovanni Battista Re, at the Congregation of Bishops under Pope John Paul II. Now he is the top job in the country with the most Catholics. He lacks charisma, though, and many cardinals feel they need someone with personality. Cardinal Robert Serra, appointed Archbishop of Conakry, beneath, when he was just 34, Serra now heads the Pontifical Council C.O.R. Unum, which is the Vatican's parallel to the U.S. Agency for International Development. Weigel noted, however, that Rome has often not been as friendly as it could have been to African church leaders. Cardinal Timothy Dolan, the Archbishop of New York's personality could be a double-edged sword. No member of the College of Cardinals lights up a room like Dolan, Weigel said, but skeptics could find him too effervescent. Plus, there is a long-standing prejudice against so-called superpower popes. Cardinal Luis Antonio Tagle, the passion and emotion of Manila's top Catholic could be attractive to electors looking beyond Italy for a candidate. His youth, he's just 56, could go against him. He could be pope for 40 years. If that's the case, he better be a great one, Greece said. Other geographic outliers who have been mentioned and might get some votes in early balloting include Malcolm Branches of Sri Lanka. Thomas Collins of Toronto, Sean O'Malley of Boston and Jorge Bergoglio of Buenos Aires. An oft-mentioned Cardinal, Peter Turkson of Gunny, is favored in the Italian press, which Weigel said historically means his candidacy is over even before voting starts. Greece said regardless of how many worthy candidates there are, he wouldn't bet on a pontiff from another continent. The odds are against it when more than half the College of Cardinals is from Europe, he said. They always begin by looking at the Italians. 